Hi, this is Brian Clark. I'd like to give you a quick overview of the Lionfish map website I've been working on. If you hear any pet noises or clanging around in the kitchen in the background, that's not a feature of the map. It's a feature of my life. What I have is a Google map satellite image, and I've entered in the artificial reef sites that we have here in Pensacola from Robert Turpin's list. And there's a fair number of them. There's about 200 right off of Pensacola. Rather than clutter up the screen with all the site names, I'm just displaying the number of lionfish estimated to be on the site at this point. You can display the names as well, and I'll show you how to do that. The light blue markers indicate that the site doesn't have any reports yet. By default, I've set 50 lionfish per site, just as a general average for the sites that I've seen out there that seems to be reasonable. So we'll zoom in a little bit. On one of the areas. And I just have some practice data in here I've been using to test the site out with. So we get down a little closer, you see we're near the Pensacola Pass. A couple things to notice. First of all, I'll, I'll turn on the names here so you can see some of the site names. Here's the USS Massachusetts. If I click on that, it'll display the name of the site, estimated number of lionfish, the depth of the site and the GPS location along with the comments that Robert has in his list for the site. So you can click on any site you want here. Let's zoom in a little bit more. You can see there are several different pin colors. The green indicates that we estimate that there are no lionfish at that site. Usually you get a green pin when there's a recent report and the report indicates that there were no lionfish sighted or that all the lionfish were harvested from the site. Yellow indicates that there's a few lionfish on the site. Right now the level is 20 lionfish, so if it's more than zero and less than 20, then I mark it with a yellow pin. If it's more than 20 lionfish, are estimated to be at the site, then we have a red pin. So we click on three barges here. We can see lionfish 100 in Gilchrist Reef, lionfish 16, and Joe Patty Reef, lionfish 0. Another way you can look at this lionfish website is by clustering the information by number of lionfish. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I'll zoom out a little bit. And I'll turn on clustering in the upper right hand corner. So now you'll notice we've got these dots with a number in it. And that's the estimated number of lionfish in that area. Now, the farther out I zoom, the more it'll cluster. So, you can see for Pensacola area right now, we've got an estimated about 10,000 lionfish on these public sites. Of course, the more data that's entered, the better that number will be. And we can zoom back in just by clicking on it when I go to a particular area. And eventually, it'll expand back into the reefs. So another way that this could potentially be used in the future is by entering more sites. There are many artificial reef sites off the coast of Alabama, so we'll have other uh, clusters here. You can also zoom out, and you could imagine having it uh, be used across the northern Gulf or even across the southern U.S. or the Caribbean. Again, you can just click on a dot to zoom into a particular area and keep zooming in until you get to the sites that you want.
an important feature of this system is that it automatically learns the lionfish infestation rate at each site. This information will allow us to track which sites are more attractive to lionfish. So that's it for navigation. Let's take a look at some of the reports that I've entered in. So just go up to the view reports option. First thing that we'll want to do is select a site that we want to view reports for. I've entered in some sample data. Here's it. Have a set. You can see we have the date and time of the dives. The date and time is sorted such that the most recent report is at the top. Got the percent site covered, the number of fish that were observed, the number were taken, number of people stung, if any, and who submitted the report. And these are user IDs that people can set up. There's also a notes column. Most of the columns can be sorted. If I want to sort by the user who made the report, click there. And if you click on it, it'll toggle between sorting in different directions. Uh, fish observed. Date and time, and so on. So this is the Avocet. I've got a few records in for the Antares. And you can see there's just a few entries here. You can also review reports from all sites together. So the first option up here is all sites. And we've got an additional column, which is the site. And again, initially, the records are sorted by the most recent report is at the top. However, you can sort by site if you want to. And now I've got the Interis records together and the Avocet reports together. And you can search across all the sites for the percent covered, fish observed, uh, reported by, and so on. Next, I'd like to show you how to submit a lionfish report. To add a report, I click on the Add Report menu option. The first thing that's displayed below is the reports that I've made. All the reports are ordered by dive time and date and the most recent report is at the top. So to report line fish, click on the dive date and time, pick a day, and I can pick a time below. Once I have the time, I can click Done. And that enters the date and time up here. Next, I select a dive site. And when I do, you'll notice that the table at the bottom will change to reflect the reports that have been made on that dive site. So we'll go to the Avocet. The reason why I display the reports for that site. This is a quick and easy way to check to see if your dive buddy has already entered a report in for your dive. How much site did you cover? This is a percentage. So let's say we covered 80% of the site. How many lionfish did you see? Pick a number here, say 50. How many did you kill or remove? Say 10. Was anybody stung? No, you can just leave it zero. And you could enter in notes. So once we hit submit report, I'll go back to the beginning screen and you'll notice that again what's being displayed is the dive reports that I've made and this is the one that we just entered. So that's a quick preview of the Lionfish Map website I've been working on. Please let me know what you think about the site.